Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Jakub Vanish and I'm going to be talking about Sora. So Sora, the new model from OpenAI that is generating videos, impressive videos from text prompts, is uh, really stirring up some discussions. Uh, today we're gonna uh, go through nine new examples. Most of them are coming from TikTok. Unfortunately, they are in this uh, weird vertical aspect ratio, so apologies for that, but we're gonna review them. And there has also been a very interesting interview with the CTO of, of uh, OpenAI. Uh, her name is Mira Murati and that has been done by the Wall Street Journal and she has spilled the beans on quite a lot of stuff behind the door. So that's gonna be interesting, so buckle up and we're gonna go through it uh, together. So first of all, let's take a look at these, these examples. So the first one is a point of view of a bee and as you can see, <laughs> again, uh, we, we saw something with, uh, with an ant in the past. We're going through the flower fields. It looks very consistent. Um, though something that Mira Murati was mentioning also in that interview is that uh, they can only generate currently 720p video. So it's not the highest quality and it's going to take some time until we're like a 4K quality. The next one is probably the most impressive, that's the interview, super realistic, right? So we have two ladies that are supposed to have an interview, okay, they're not really opening their mouths, but uh, in the last in the last video I missed that the cameraman had six fingers, this lady on the left, she has like 15. <laughs> so this is, this is the thing that uh, this model definitely struggles with the most. The, the next one is the, it's a coast. Um, again, very, very nice video. I think these drone shots are, are done really, really well. Um, another thing that Mira Murati was mentioning is basically how are they training the model? And that was quite controversial because uh, she has been asked how uh, are they getting the get data? And she said, we're using public, uh, publicly available data or uh, licensed data. And when the interviewer were push pushing uh, further to find out, you know, what's, what's going on really, uh, if it's YouTube, if it's Facebook data, if it's Instagram, she, she didn't tell. What data was used to train Sora? We used publicly available data and licensed data. So videos on YouTube? I'm actually not sure about that. She just, she just hauled all of the cards and eventually after the interview, she, she said that they are using Shutterstock for the license data, but I'm quite sure they are using all of the YouTube content that they can have. Um, so possibly also your videos. So that's a little bit scary. And we're going through the rest of the videos that we are having here. The horse roller skating on a half pipe was very, very funny, though in slow motion. And the teapot pouring magic liquid also looked looked fine. But yeah, it kind of gives it away. This, this didn't look uh, super realistic. Or the bubble dragon looks like a little bit of a, I don't know, 90s animation or something like that. Then there were these uh, cute rabbit family uh, eating a dinner together. That looks a bit more realistic. It looks like a 80s video of, uh, caught on a VHS. And probably one of the best videos uh, that we have in here is the bull tiptoeing across different plates. It really reminds me of the Ferdinand bull, you know, from that, from that fairy tale. Um, so yeah, that also stirs up some questions whether uh, whether they are getting also, you know, publicly available movies uh, and TV series, you know, to train the models. So, yeah, uh, it's going to be very interesting. What Mira Murati was also mentioning in that, in that interview is that they will release this for sure this year to public. Um, they're aiming to do it in a couple months. They are just a bit worried about the, the elections in the US, so they might do it just after the elections. When is eventually? I'm hoping yeah, definitely this year, but could be a few months. There's an election in November, you think before or after that? You know, that's certainly a consideration. Because they're afraid uh, what what this this could do, you know, with that. Though they will likely follow the same principles that they follow with DALI and with ChatGPT, so you would not be able to create images of some public figures or some public places. It will always have to be generated 
kind of from scratch and fantasized. So yeah, this has been Jakub Bonis. Thanks a lot for joining my channel and enjoying these videos. In case you have any questions, please leave a comment and thanks a lot for coming back for more. Cheers, everybody.